Hello peeps, Karen Wolf here in the art studio at home. I am going to paint a um, barn with a palette knife this evening. I was looking around here trying to find something to paint and couldn't think, find a thing. So I uh, just pulled a rabbit out of my hat. How are you all doing this evening? I hope you guys are doing well. I, uh, I'm doing pretty good. So, um, my name is Karen Wolf. Uh, if you all have followed me before or seen me paint before, uh, I am a painter and I teach adults and children how to paint and become better painters. And I do that in my art studio and online. Just a easy to follow step-by-step -step, uh, process. And I'm just playing this evening. <laughs> we normally paint with, uh, with brushes and this evening I'm painting with palette knife. Just having some fun. So, hope you all enjoyed your Fourth of July weekend. That's always a lot of fun. Got some family time in and some, maybe some rest. If you didn't go to the festivities, I'm gonna see if I can get you all pulled up here on my, on my laptop so I can see comments if there are any, cause I can't see them on there. Hey Valerie, welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. Um, this is always just a big, uh, crazy deal for me to figure this out because I don't use my laptop very often. Uh, and when I go to do this, it's like a fish out of water. I can go bam, bam, bam on my phone, but whenever I get my iPad, I'm not very good at it. I just mostly use it for reference and stuff. There we are. Ooh, I am live. Yeah. All right. I can see comments on my iPad, but I can't see them on my phone. So, uh, y'all say hey when you jump on. I don't think I can still see them. Uh, most of the time I can't. So, I'm just painting in the background here. I'm painting with a palette knife, and I'm just going in here and taking some paint and just pulling the paint on with a palette knife on here. And this is one of those uh, experimental <laughs> paintings. Uh, I have not painted an original. I do not have an original painting that I'm going by. I'm just making this up as I go. So, we'll... Who knows what this is going to turn out like, right? Who knows? It could be a flop. I don't know. I think sometimes I'll do better if I don't have something to go by and I paint under pressure. I do like the look of uh, palette knife painting. I like the... Just the feel of it. It's fun. It's carefree, easy, just loose and free stuff. So, what we're going to have down here in front of the barn? We're going to have grass or we're going to have dirt. What do y'all think? Grass or dirt? See, I can see you better down on the bottom, but I could see that you commented, Valerie, hello. I could see that you commented on my phone. And I don't uh, 
for some reason, I don't talk a lot whenever I'm painting with a palette knife. Y'all notice that? If y'all watched me on here much <laughs> with the palette knife, you will, uh, you will pick up on that pretty quick. Y'all like palette knife painting? Have you painted with a palette knife? Post in the comments if you like palette knife painting or if you have painted with palette knife. Let me know. I'd, I'd be curious to know <clears throat> if you guys uh, if you guys have used the palette knife and painted. Ooh. It's a little. I don't want to do that. That's okay. That's the beauty of it. You just paint. You don't worry too much about. At least I don't. With this, it's kind of therapy painting. Therapy painting. I hope I'm not in the way. Sometimes I. my arm and my back in the way. I think it's because my phone's down lower here. At the art studio, it's up higher. It's on my table that's up higher in the air. So there, we're just going to do some of that business. Now we'll see what we can do with the barn. Paint that barn in. We'll get a little bit of gray. I'm going to do a gray barn. Hello, everyone. Thank you all for jumping on. Appreciate you guys watching. Y'all say hey when you jump on here. Let's see. See who? Oh, grass. Sorry, Violet. I just saw that. <laughs> I can put some grass in there. I didn't wait long enough, did I? I didn't wait long enough. But anyhow... If you are interested in painting and say you haven't painted, you used to paint, you haven't painted for a while, or you uh, have never painted before and you want to get back into painting, or you want to get back into painting, or you've never painted before and you want to try it, I can help you. I'm your girl. So you just. Stick with me, and I'll show you show you how to get there. And I've got, um, like I said, I just have a step by step. I show you every everything that you need to use: colors, brushes. Of course, like I said, we normally paint with a paintbrush. But I'm painting this with a palette knife. Like I said, it may be end up being a mess, and it may not. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just painting. But that's what you got to do. You just have to be brave. You just have to get past the fear and paint, and that's what I try to help you all do: is get past the fear of. of you know, letting that fear hold you back. That's, uh, that'll, that's just really sad is what it is. Because fear keeps us from doing things and we just keep, we're just afraid of the unknown. And...
you know, once you try it, once you try something and you realize, I don't know why I have that sticking out there. Uh, once you try it, then you realize that you were silly to be afraid. But it's a strong thing. It's fear is a strong barrier. Keeps us from doing a lot of stuff. You ever do that? Be afraid of something and then just not do it and then all of a sudden you just finally you just get tired of worrying about it. Or you have to do it. You have to do it for something in your job or whatever. And then you finally do it. And you're glad you did. And then you think, oh my gosh, that wasn't bad. Why was I so scared? Okay. So I've got this going here. And that comes over. That's why I had that there. Because this comes down. There. Well, now that's straight. That's kind of supposed to go to the side, isn't it? And then out for a barn. And then that goes out. And down. And down. I'll probably have this a little wonky. Down, down. Oh, I keep going over. I need to clean my, my, I need a paper towel. So in order to fix that, I'm just going to cut that off. And I'm going to come back over here. Oops, got some brown in my blue. And fix my blue side. A little bit. There. I'll have to stand back and look at that and see. I still think that's a little bit weirded looking. <clears throat> but I'm trying to keep out of y'all's way. <laughs> and paint. So that's the hard part is trying to paint and not get in front of the camera, the phone. So anyways, don't let don't let being afraid keep you from doing the things that you want to do in life, whether it be painting or whatever it is. Don't don't let it be a barrier. I did for a long time and finally I just bit the bullet and did it and here I am and I love it. And I tell you the truth, there is nothing more exciting than taking a blank canvas. And those of you who have done it before can relate. There is nothing like it, taking a blank canvas and turning it into a work of art. It's just, and we're all individuals, and we all like different things, and just because you don't like, you know, one thing, one person's art, or, you know, if you don't like this, or, you know, you like it or you don't like it, you can change it. You can make it your, what you, make it the way you like it. We're all individuals, and we all like different things. Should have made that a little bit smaller. I'm not sure I like that that big. But that's okay. black. 
I'm going to get some black. Oops. I found some black, didn't I? Didn't realize that was on the back of my... I don't like that, though. Didn't realize that was on the back of my palette knife. Well, I told you. Didn't know if this was going to be a good one or a bad one. <laughs> Sometimes you just do it and figure it out along the way. All right. I'm going to put a little bit of like wood coming up there. I think I'm going to get some white. Some white. Are you all enjoying it? Y'all having fun? Stephanie, what kind of paint do you use? Um, this is actually just a, a student grade paint. It's what I use over in the art studio um, that I had. Henry and I were painting with these, and um, this is the Blick Acrylic. Um, but I prefer um, Liquitex Basics. This is real liquid, real liquidy. Uh, the Liquitex Basics is what I, I prefer, Stephanie. But you can paint with whatever whatever you've got. There's a fly. Whatever you've got, whatever you like. Um, but for this, um, this is just what I had on the uh, canvas. Oh. Every time Joe opens a garage out there, uh, flies come in. I'm just taking some white, just some highlights and stuff down through here, just a little bit. Oh, thank you, Valerie. I appreciate that. Um, she said it looked good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and it's this is just something for fun, just something I, I was just doing just for fun. And it, and it is fun to paint with a palette knife. Stephanie, you should try it. All of y'all should try it. <laughs> if you haven't done it, you should definitely try it. It's just fun. It makes, uh, it just, I don't know why I just like it. Just do. All right, I'm going to make this have a door opening here. And I'm no expert at this, so if you're thinking, oh, she's doing that wrong, probably, but I don't care. <laughs> I do not care. All right, we'll step back here and look at my, my barn shape. It's off a little bit, but I'm okay with that. This is old barn. It's, it's falling down, probably. It's probably falling down. Seen better days. You reckon? All right. We can put a little bit of green in there for some grass. Valerie was saying we needed some green. I'm willing to do that. Let's see if I can get some of this gold color over here. To Make it kind of match. It's 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 funny because once you when you mess up a little bit, I'm used to fixing all my mistakes uh, when I paint with a paintbrush. Uh, so when you when you make a mistake with this, you pretty much you just have to just be done with it and forget about it. 
All right, you can kind of fix them a little bit. I'm liking that. Usually don't care for this type of painting, but love this one. Oh, <laughs> Anna, that is awesome. That makes me feel so good. I just love you. <laughs> Thank you. Well, oh, that's that makes me feel good. I need a little bit more of this. Oh, what did I do with it? I need a little bit more of my paint color that I was using there. Sorry, guys. You can take a break in the middle. I had, um, I was using some of this raw sienna. Uh, Henry was painting River, his dog, and we used raw sienna, black, brown, a little bit of red, and that's what I have on this, this, uh, palette. I don't normally paint with raw sienna, but I had some in the chromacryl, which I like this. Um, I got this at Blick, and it's, um, I like this paint. It's real thick. Chromacryl, um, it's a student grade, but it's real thick like, um, like the, um, Liquitex Basics. So, I just run out of some green, so I was coming over here and get some more green. Ah, didn't mean to do that. All right, there's a little bit of green, Valerie, for you, just for you. What do you think about that? That's pretty good, just something simple. Holy catfish. It moved. I like it too. I I was just real hesitant on doing it. I, st I stand down here when I'm getting ready to do these lives. <laughs> I stand down here forever. Uh, hey, Pat. Hey, Tiffany. Welcome. Thank you all for joining I stand down here forever trying to figure out what I'm going to paint. And, uh, let me put that one go up a little bit higher. And that's what I come up with. A barn. So, we'll call that done. Uh, I might need to put a little bit of a shadow. Here in front of my door opening a little bit. Or a path of some sort. Something going out through here. I love it. I do. Pretty cool. Pretty cool, guys. I don't know if I got my barn straight or not. <laughs> but that was fun. Did you all enjoy that? I did. I sure did. <clears throat> sometimes you just have to, um, sometimes you just have to try something different. So there, that was different. All right. So there you go. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. That was fun. Can't get this thing. There we go. Sorry about that. It just keeps falling. All right. Thank you all so much. I appreciate you. That was um, that was a lot of fun. I love that. Um, need to do more more of those. Um, yeah. That was fun. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it too. 
and I hope you could see it. Sometimes my internet's not so great here, but, um, anyhow, um, uh, you all, um, have a, uh, have a wonderful evening, evening. I hope to see you all out at the, um, uh, the art studio soon. I've got lots of, um, lots of stuff going on in the art studio and online. Um, I have the, um, uh, the coneflower painting. It's coming up. I got that one, the coneflower painting coming up. Uh, just check them out on my, um, my website, artbycaramolf.com. I've got the lemons. It's coming up. And what else? Oh, the pig. I don't have a pig picture here. But check out my uh, website. I posted a bunch of stuff today. I've got online stuff, artbycaramolf.com. And get signed up. There's lots of stuff you can do. There's online painting. You can uh, do the tutorials. I just added these for the online painting tutorials. And you can paint those virtually. Or you can paint with me in the studio. So, hope to see you all there. Take care. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you guys are watching this on the replay, don't forget to say hey. All right. Thank you.